Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> Glad you could make it. We're going to continue on doing some comedy here. This is a would I lie to you bit, but not the usual this is my. They bring in an item, well, or not, and you have to decide whether it's really theirs. Like I said, this isn't the usual one, but this does have Bob Mortimer in it, and he cracks me up. He's a funny guy, and you never know. You just never know with this guy. He has his pet owls cushion so we have to decide whether he's telling the truth or if he's lying so if you like the video you know be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications and pass the video around let's get started this is the cushion that i used to carry my pet owl around on <laughs> i would have brought the owl but he escaped last week <laughs> <laughs> James G, what do you think? What, what kind of an owl was it? Oh, yeah. Tawny. Yeah. Tawny. Tawny's perched on branches. Yeah. So how did you get it to, to perch on a big, flat, soft cushion? Oh, Steve, it's so good to have you here. <laughs> how did I? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a problem here, Steve? <laughs> here, the, here are the talent marks. I have a rare breeds farm near me, and they had to get rid of a tawny owl that was injured. It couldn't use its wings, and it, I, I shouldn't use the words, it couldn't use its bottom. <laughs> for, for doing what? For poo pooing. What, what, and I'm, what did it use? <laughs> <laughs> so, as a trustee of the organisation, because it's just down the road from me in Warehorn, I agreed to have. <laughs> <laughs> that I would look, at, look after it, it actually had what you would call a colostomy bag. <laughs> we would call it that. No, you would. We'd call it a colostomy bag. <laughs> have I said it and right? We, yeah, we wouldn't have picked it up, but you did specifically say that's what we would have called it. <laughs> I, I thought I'd better address this, because we really, we really wouldn't. Steve, is an owl's colostomy bag called a colostomy bag? <laughs> Uh, well, yes, you, it you is. Would, you wouldn't really need it because the, the majority of, of kind of uh, solid faecal matter with an owl comes out of its mouth. Yeah. Mm. No, we're dealing with a very sick owl. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I sound very aggressive there. <laughs> He's escaped now, and I can see his little face. We were given a pipette with what was so owl, it, it, owl nourishment. So you had to feed it <laughs> with a by pipette. pipette. Yes. And, and, and how did it stand on the cushion if, as Steve says, it needs a, a perch? It, no, it was fine, just so I've right. I've clearly not made it clear. This is an incredibly <laughs> sick bird. <laughs> you can't judge it, so it by is it the normal <laughs> tawn. This is just a it's lump so of sick. meat and it's feathers. So <laughs> <laughs> it's just hanging on in there. But the thing still escapes. Yes, it escapes. <laughs> Actually, I've... I suspect it was killed by my cats. <laughs> why did this, this um, owl sanctuary, when it has a sick owl, why, why didn't it look after the owl oh. itself rather than <laughs> give it to a, a local celebrity? Uh, because I'm a very... I have a cushion and cats. <laughs> I'm very closely associated with it. The... Sorry, my client would like a minute. <laughs> <laughs> You had clearly said to them you were going to nurse it back to health? No, that was never going to happen. It's palliative care. No, it's palliative care. Palliative care, it was palliative like a, care for the owl. A hospice for the owl. Yeah. For the owl. Oh, right. And we had some decent times. <laughs> Did he have a name, this owl? We, we called it... Uh... <laughs> Did you? You called it. <laughs> so uh, you're upset, Bob. I can tell. Yeah. If, you're upset. <laughs> if you need a minute, it's okay. But what, what did you call it? it? Sorry. What, what did you call it? What did we call the owl? Yeah. Well, we called him Mavis. <laughs> Mavis. <laughs> Bob, what did you what did you feed it with the, with the paper? It, it was described to me as as owl, <laughs> as owl nourishment. <laughs> it, 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 everything. <laughs> You just take bowls and put them in a liquidizer. No, just, I, Steve, I still know I can't impress on you. Once you go out of it, it's just a little lift and lid. So it, it, was, it wasn't perched then, it was reclined on the cushion. That, that was its. That's its. <laughs> Laying on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'd have like a broomstick or something and just hold it. <laughs> and what have you told the 
Owl yeah. Sanctuary, what have you told them? Because they must have been upset. Uh, no, I've told them he's passed away, yeah. <laughs> and they, they said, well, that's fine, we knew Mavis was going to die soon. That's why we gave him or her to, to yeah. you, a comedian who lives locally, to keep <laughs> on a cushion in the same room as some cats. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, my client would like to change his plan. <laughs> I don't, this, I don't, this isn't sounding... And you're, you're a trustee, did you say, of this charity? Yes, it's a rare breeds farm in Wehorn. Um, <laughs> does family days. Um, sadly, I haven't got an owl at the moment. But... What? <laughs> So, so David, what, what are you thinking? Thought... Is this true? Um, no, this isn't true. <laughs> <laughs> you made all that up. <laughs> okay, I just don't idea. believe... Okay, you know, like, this... This just sounds too ridiculous to be true. But with Bob, you know, the more ridiculous the story, the better chance it has to be true. But I'm going to say no, it's a lie. Uh. They would let him bring a dying tawny owl home. And <laughs> no, I don't no. think so. I think we're saying it's a lie. I think you but, are. But yeah. and I think that's the, you know, the rare breed centre probably needs to look at its working practices <laughs> if it happens to be true. But. OK, Bob, <laughs> truth or lie? I was uh, telling a lie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That was, one was a little far out there, even for Bob. OK, so that was uh, Bob Mortimer's cushion for his pet owl. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. Bob's a funny guy. I didn't buy his story this time, even though I usually do. Um, you know, that if the... Owl was so sick, how did it escape a week ago? Because his cat ate it. And the cat's not going to eat the whole owl. And the cat will drag the owl around and even probably give it to you as a gift. Um, but, you know, the, the whole story really didn't hold much water. So, But it was a funny story. Bob's always a funny guy. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you're going to like the video. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, and share the video around. Uh, we'll see you on the next one, and uh, yeah, have a nice day. See ya.